So it's the first all new Toyota Land Cruiser in the last 14 years and a very important model for the Japanese car maker indeed. Now it hasn't strayed away much from the design from typical Land Cruiser design so similar boxy silhouette you have and similar elements on the face as well just that they have got even more enhanced. Let's take you through all the details. So in terms of design, the new Land Cruiser hasn't strayed away much from the original Land Cruiser looks and that's only a good thing because buyers love that design. Overall boxy silhouette of the car is still intact but the face is all new. A massive grille and a good mix of chrome and silver on it so it looks very butch and very urban, very in your face. Also it's flanked by those air curtains and sleeker LED headlights. So three LED diodes you have in them and that's complemented by a butch and a solid LED DRL ring. So even the profile details that very butch and very bold stance and it has got very solid shoulder line complements the overall character of the car and bigger chunkier wheels in terms of dimensions also it has changed it has grown up actually and in terms of length it's now 4985 millimeters overall width is 1980 millimeters while the height that's 1945 millimeters you have a wheelbase of 2,850 millimeters, and that gives a very good sense of the cabin and of the space inside. So the rear end of the car will remind you even more of the previous generation Land Cruiser. Uh, very flat design you have for the tailgate here, wraparound tail lights, a very subtle use of chrome on the bumper looks good, has the typical essence of the Land Cruiser intact and you have got split tailgate set up here. The lower section folds down while the upper section goes up. So the new Land Cruiser LC300 is now underpinned by the TNGAF platform and for the first time it has deviated from the V8 engine. Now it gets a V6 unit, a 3.3 litre engine under the hood and that belts out around 365 brake horsepower at 4000 rpm and around 700 newton meters of peak torque at 2600 rpm mated to a 10 speed automatic gearbox. That's a healthy figure you have for the engine specifications. The chunkier 20 inch tall profile wheels also help while off-roading and speaking of off-roading, it gets the 4x4 system and drive modes as standard. The layout is completely new and the highlight here is the 12.3 inch touchscreen that now gets Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and the 14 speaker JBL audio system. Other premium features like power seats you have it, you also get a sunroof and the overall sense of premiumness is maintained in the cabin thanks to all the plush materials used. You also get a 4 zone climate control system and HDMI options for the screen. That said, Unlike the models sold overseas, so globally the Toyota Land Cruiser now comes with the option of 7 seating layout but in India it's likely to come only as a 5 seater. So in terms of pricing, the new Land Cruiser is expected to come at around 1 crore 20 lakh rupees and it takes on the likes of the Range Rover and the Mercedes-Benz GLS.